Hey there, Posse. Whether you eat at home, in a restaurant, at your golf club, uh, in a spring or summer garden party, on your balcony, on your deck, wherever it is, in front of the, the tube on a Sunday afternoon, the club sandwich is the absolute best sandwich in the whole world. <laughs> you know, since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you agree. So what do you drink with this amazing meal? Well, stay tuned. In this video, we'll be talking about the best wines to pair with your club sandwich. This one's gonna be really fun and, and informative. Are you ready? Come on. I'm Pierre and welcome to Asti Wine Consultants. Now by the end of this video, you'll be the club sandwich king or queen of your neighborhood or your social circle. <laughs> and by the way, uh, this is an honor not to be taken lightly. Are you ready for me to serve it up? Let's dive in. Now a club sandwich is a classic delicious combination of, of ingredients. When you're selecting your wine to to pair with it, you want a wine that, that complements the flavors of the sandwich without overpowering them. Now, speaking of ingredients, everybody does things a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to quickly walk you through how I make my club sandwiches. I start off with wheat bread, although sometimes I'll use white bread. Regardless, I always toast each slice to a golden brown. Most everybody normally puts mayonnaise on it. I don't. I put Miracle Whip on it. It adds just a little extra uh, tang that I prefer. Then comes turkey, then your tomato. I like to, to uh, use a, a, a vine ripe tomato, you know, usually as a thinly sliced Tommy Boy. Uh, then I add the lettuce. Now, I don't put my tomato next to the toast because I don't like my toast all, all uh, soggy or mushy. If you're making a, uh, a double decker, after your lettuce, you add another slice of toast with a generous helping of Miracle Whip. Then the bacon, then another slice of tomato. Your lettuce and then your final slice of toast. Now, on the side, you can have anything from a tomato salad to a, a garden salad or chips. Plus, uh, you can, can garnish it with uh, a pickle. Now, actually, I prefer sweet pickles, um, you know, over dills. Uh, and actually, when there's no one watching, I will really uh, load these things on. Okay. Now, here comes the best part. Those are good. Which wines do you want to use? As far as the whites are concerned, there are three that would go or pair really well with your club sandwich. The first white would be a, a Vino Verde. It's typically from Portugal and most often won't break the bank, really reasonably priced. You know, you'll pick up on floral notes, uh, very light minerality, um, some citrus and, and some stone fruit like peach and a bun of acidity, which uh, livens things up in your mouth and prepares your mouth uh, for the, the sandwich. Oh, and, and actually, there's a, a slight fun sort of fizz or what's called fizzante to this. Now, next up is Chardonnay. Uh, the Yogi Chardonnay pairs uh, well with uh, the various components of your club sandwich. Uh, it's buttery and uh, lightly oak flavors can, can complement the, the roasted turkey and fried bacon and, and, um, and actually the Miracle Whip or mayonnaise. Our other white wine is Sauvignon Blanc. This has uh, vibrant acidity and, and notes of citrus and herbs. Uh, I would do the French or the U.S. Sauvignon Blanc uh, if you're if you're going with mayo. Uh, the the added citrusy or or grapefruity flavors of of a, a, an Australia or New Zealand a Sauvignon Blanc would lend itself a whole lot better to the the Miracle Whip. The Sauvignon Blanc pairs nicely with the the, the fresh lettuce, tomatoes, and mayo. Uh, 
By the way, how are you doing there? Do you have an idea of, of which white wine uh, you're going to serve? If so, let me know in the comments below. Now, before we get to the red wines, you can really get a, a, a lot out of a rosé. A dry rosé wine can be a delightful choice, especially if your club sandwich includes a turkey, bacon, and some fresh vegetables. Rosé often has a nice balance of acidity and fruitiness that can, can work really well with your club. And then finally, let's take a look at several reds. Oh, oh and actually, uh, after the reds, I'll have a little bonus at the end. Now, now with reds, you want to look at our, our refrigerator magnet. Uh, you want to stay away from the, the big red wines like Cabs and Syrahs and Nibiolos. Uh, here are several that uh, will, will pair really well with, with uh, our sandwiches. First of all is the Pinot Noir. A light and fruity Pinot Noir can be uh, a really good choice uh, and it won't overpower the sandwich and, and uh, can, can complement the, the flavors of the turkey and the bacon. I'm going to lump several suggestions together. You know, a Grenache generally from France or a Grenache from, uh, from Spain or Portugal would be a great choice. These are wines that are light enough so they won't fight against or overpower your sandwich. Also a Grenache based red wine or a, a GSM would work really well. Now a GSM is a, a red blend made of, of Grenache Syrah and Movide grapes or Grenache Syrah and Merlot grapes. My favorite GSM is a Chateauneuf de Pop uh, and it's basically a Grenache Syrah Movide blend. All these reds can work really well with a club sandwich, particularly if you include the Mediterranean twist uh, with ingredients or garnishings like uh, roasted peppers, uh, particularly red peppers or, or olives. Well, there you have it. Oh, <laughs> wait just a second. Uh, I, I nearly forgot. I, I mentioned there was a bonus at the end. You know, it's, it's going to be the, the sparkling wine. Uh, whether it's a champagne, a Prosecco, or a Cava, uh, that adds a touch of elegance and, and dresses up your sandwich. Plus, uh, the effervescence can, can cleanse your palate and enhance the overall flavors. You know, folks, Ultimately, the best wine to serve with a, a club sandwich depends on your, your uh, personal preferences and uh, the specific ingredients. <laughs> well, well, there you have it. Dinner is served. Hey, Posse, thanks so much for investing the time to watch this video. I trust it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And please consider hitting subscribe. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. Until next time, cheers.